Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I'll show you how you can create this green screen YouTube subscribe animation in PowerPoint and then I will show you how we can hide the green color and put this animation on any video. So let's go! Before we get started, I want to say a huge thanks to Wondershare for sponsoring today's video and for creating this awesome screen recorder and video editor called Demo Creator. With Demo Creator, you can record your presentations, create video tutorials, record games or create video courses. Both the screen recorder and the video editor are easy to use. And later in the video, I'll show you how we can use the Demo Creator video editor to remove the green background from our subscribe animation that we will create in this tutorial. And by the way, today's tutorial slides and the green screen animation video are free to download thanks to Wondershare. So definitely check out Wondershare Demo Creator. Links for the free and paid versions are in the video description. And now let's jump into the video. Alright, so once again, let me show you how the final animation looks like. So as you can see, I have added a couple of animations inside of the animation pane. So if that scares you, don't worry, I'll show you everything step by step. And here in the second slide, I have prepared all of the shapes and all of the icons that we need for the animation. So let's just look inside of the selection pane and we can see all of the objects. We have the cursor, we have the subscribed button, we have the bell icon, the bell that has been clicked, the usual red button and the usual bell icon. Alright, so now we can insert a fresh blank new slide and start everything from scratch. So first of all, let's make sure that our slide is green. So let's go to Format Background, go to Solid Fill and choose any green color that we want. So for example, this one. Alright. Having a green slide is really important because later on we'll be using the green screen effect from the demo creator. You can turn on the slide guides to help you see where's the center of the slide. And now let's just grab this red button and let's paste it into slide number three. Let's align it to the center and to the middle of the slide. That's awesome. Now let's go to animations and let's add fly in animation. Let's make sure that direction is from left. And for the duration, we can set it to one second. And let's go to the effect options and make sure that we add a little bit of bounce end to our animation. For example, 0.6 seconds, just to make our fly in animation a little bit more interesting, just like that. And now we can jump to slide number two and copy the cursor shape. Hit Command C or Control C to copy. And let's just paste it to slide number three. And let's move the cursor somewhere around here to the bottom of the slide. And now we'll use some animations to make this cursor go up. So let's select the cursor, go to animations, click on add animation and let's go to more motion paths. Let's scroll down a little bit until we find the one which is called art down. Here it is. Let's click OK. All right, so as you can see here at the bottom, we have this arc. Now we'll have to adjust it a little bit. So let's click edit points. We have uh, four black points. So let's move the last black point to the direction of the button. And for the rest of the points, we can delete those points. We just need two points, the starting point and the last point. And now we can click the last point and use this white handle to adjust the shape of the curve. So that's awesome. So you can adjust the curve the way you like it. And this way you have created this beautiful arc animation. So for the duration of the animation, let's set it to half a second. Let's make sure it starts with previous. And for the delay, let's add half a second. Now let's give it a preview. Everything is looking beautiful. Alright ladies and gentlemen, and now let me show you how we can add a click effect to our subscribe button. So let's select our subscribe button, go to add animations and let's choose grow shrink animation. Alright, let's make sure it starts uh, with previous. Duration 0.1 seconds, and that's very fast. And in the effect options, let's choose 90%. And let's check the auto reverse check mark. Hit OK. 
And let's actually make sure that this animation starts after previous. I think it looks better. So growth shrink animation starts after previous. That's good. Now let's give it a preview. Looking beautiful. So you can see the button comes in and we click it. That's awesome. All right, now let's jump to slide number two and let's copy the bell icon. Hit Control C or Command C to copy and let's paste it into slide number three. And let's position it to something like this. And don't forget to rearrange your objects in the selection pane. Let's make sure that the cursor stays on top. That's awesome. And now let's select the bell icon, go to animations, fly in animation. Let's choose from the left side. That's awesome. And let's make sure for the duration we set uh, 0 0.25 seconds and make sure it starts with previous. All right. And in the effect options, we can add a smooth end 0 0.25 seconds. And let's give it a preview. All right. So uh, as you can see, the bell flies on top of the button. So let's uh, drag it to the bottom. All right, let's give it a preview once again. All right, it's looking better, but as you can see, we can still see the icon coming from the left side. So let me show you what we can do. Let's just go to insert shapes and let's just insert a rectangle. Something like this. Let's make sure it goes to the top and to the left side of the slide. Let's make it uh, green, the same color. Let's uh, remove the outline and let's send it to back. Let's uh, give it a name, for example, green in the selection pane. And let's make sure that we drag the bell under the green rectangle. And now let's check it out. Now it's looking beautiful. Now the icon just pops out of the, from the subscribe button. That's awesome. All right, and now we can copy the subscribed button and let's uh, paste it into our slide. Let's make sure we align it to the center and to the middle of the slide. And now let's just go to animations and let's add a pure animation to this button. Let's make sure it starts after previous. All right, let's give it a preview. That's awesome. Just make sure that the cursor stays on top. You can always drag your objects in the selection pane. All right, now let's select our cursor and let's add one more motion path animation. So this time it's going to be line animation for the direction. Let's choose right. Now let's just drag this animation upwards just like that. Select the red bubble and let's position it to something like this. So it looks like our cursor moves from the subscribed button to the bell icon. Let's make sure it starts with previous duration zero. 0.25 seconds. All right, let's check it out. We click and we move to the icon. That's awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and now let's add the same click effect to our bell icon. So once again, we'll have to add a grow shrink animation. We'll have to set it to 90% and we'll have to check the auto reverse option. So once again, duration 0.1 seconds. That's really fast. 90% and here auto reverse. All right, let's check it out. Click, click, super duper awesome. All right, so now let's copy this clicked bell icon. Let's position it on top of the usual bell icon, just like that. All right, so let's just drag the elements around. Okay, so let's click this uh, clicked bell icon. Let's add a peer animation to it. Let's make sure it starts after previous. Okay, and now let's give it a preview. Click once again, click. That's looking beautiful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now we have uh, inserted all of the entrance uh, animations. So now all that's left to do is add a little bit of exit animations. So let's select our subscribe button and let's insert a fly out animation. Let's make sure it starts after previous duration 0 0.5 seconds. That's good. But let's add a little bit of delay 0 0.3 seconds. This is how it looks like. So let's make sure that we add exit animations to our bell icon as well. So it's the same. 
uh, 0.3 delay. And let's make sure that we add this uh, exit flyout animation to our cursor as well. So uh, starts with previous delay 0.3 seconds. And now let's just take care of for the subscribed button. Let's just select it and let's add uh, disappear animation. So let's make sure it starts with previous and let's just drag it upwards a little bit just like that. And let's select uh, the bell. And let's add disappear animation to it as well so that they disappear and we don't have to you know worry about them so let's uh, check it out from the start whoops I think I've done a mistake somewhere so let's just look inside of the animation pane and uh, see if something is unusual so I can see we have two exit animations for the button subscribed so I guess we need to delete one of these animations and we need to add exit animations to subscribe button but not subscribed button so let's select subscribe let's add disappear animation to it with previous let's drag it upwards just like that all right and let's select the bell icon as well and let's add disappear animation to it as well disappear animation starts with previous so now everything should be working just fine everything comes in click click and those shapes go down easy peasy lemon squeeze ladies and gentlemen so now you have created your animation in powerpoint and now all that's left to do is to export this animation as mp4 video so we can actually check it out on the full screen looking beautiful All right, so we can delete the first two slides. We don't need them anymore. We can as well turn off the slide guides. Just go to view and deselect guides. And now we can go to file, export, create a video. Choose the best quality if you want. For the second spent on each slide, I just type in zero. All right, and now you can just choose your destination folder and export the video. Export your slide animation as a video. That's super duper awesome. Let's click save. All right, so once PowerPoint finishes exporting the video, we can jump into Demo Creator. And there I'll show you how we can remove the green background with the help of the green screen effect. So I'll meet you in the Demo Creator. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the PowerPoint has finished exporting the video. And now we can just find that video and insert it into demo creator so here it is and before we continue let's add this skateboard video to our timeline this is going to be our video background and on top of it we will insert our green screen subscribe animation all right so let's just drag this timeline cursor to any point that we want and let's insert our subscribe animation so as you can see it's absolutely green as it should be and now let me show you how we can remove the green color so let's select our clip our green screen animation let's go to effects let's choose green screen and let's select it drag it and drop it into our clip all right and here in the green screen effect options let's make sure that with the eyedropper we select the exact green color that we want to hide all right for the tolerance let's set it to 100 and for the edge feather let's set it to zero i think this way it looks perfect all right and let's give it a preview all right ladies and gentlemen now you know how you can create a green screen youtube subscribe animation in powerpoint and how you can remove the green background with the help of the demo creator so thank you for watching, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video.